Right guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. So today I want to talk about narrative in Elite Dangerous and yes, I heard you just say that, what narrative? The thing is, narrative means different things to different people and within Elite, the subject is a mixed bag in just about every single regards. So here's just a few things that people might consider to be narrative in Elite. Lore, history, player interactions, NPC actions, backdrop and environments, missions, ship and weapon unlocks, ranking up, Galnet articles, Thargoids, Guardians, Engineers, the background simulation, power play, the Commander Chronicles, the community goals, and yes, even exploration. And just to be clear, these are not my personal thoughts on what narrative is, but they are things that over the years I have seen other people class as narrative. To be fair though, narrative is a difficult subject when it comes to online games. It's a very old problem after all, and has been dealt with in a number of different ways by different games. One thing most successful online games have in common, however, whether they are theme park or sandbox, is that both the developer and the game itself are usually pretty clear about what narrative means for the game. Talk to anyone about Warframe, GTA Online, World of Warcraft, Guild Wars 2, Ark, Survival Evolved, or even EVE Online, and of course, pretty much any other game out there, and chances are that the person could tell you very clearly what narrative means for that game. For various reasons, it's certainly not so clear with Elite Dangerous. So, if 100 different people will give you 100 different answers to this question, then what does narrative mean to Frontier? Well, that's actually a pretty hard question to answer, as Frontier rarely discuss it. The phrase, personal narrative, should give us a few clues though. And this was a phrase that came directly from Frontiers Expo in 2017. It highlighted what, at that point, was upcoming content in Chapter 1. The phrase was ambiguous, but fast forward to the update's release and personal narrative turned out to mean the ability to unlock game items, so not particularly narrative-driven, at least not to me. The second side of narrative that we hear from Frontier is the content driven by the Galaxy and Frontier themselves. So that would be Thargoids and Guardians, the discovery of alien bases and the other alien activities, along with damage stations. We could perhaps add factions gaining or losing power through the background simulation into this, in addition to Galnet reports. So narrative for Elite, like any other game, has two parts. Player-focused aspects and world-focused aspects. These then are the staple for any game, whether it's a single player game or an online game. However, online multiplayer games do have a few unique problems with narrative that single player games do not face. In fact, it's a problem that so many other online games have come up against. It seems then that there are two different approaches to this. On the one hand, a game can put players at the centre of a story world, in which case they are all a hero, each following the same storyline. Or, on the other hand, the game can offer an impersonal world where the player as an individual is largely inconsequential. Now, Frontier have certainly taken the later approach with Elite, and this is understandable after all. To some extent, there's an argument to be made that there's no other way to do it. After all, the galaxy is so large and it is procedurally generated with thousands upon thousands of factions. From that point of view then, there's no help in it. How do you fit handcrafted narrative content, whether curated missions or otherwise, into this type of galaxy without fundamentally changing what the game is? The answer to that is extremely simple. You can't. There's no viable way for that to work due to the game's size and complexity. But if handcrafted missions are not the answer, and an impersonal galaxy doesn't work very well, then is there a third option? Something perhaps between impersonal galaxy and handcrafted story-driven worlds? Well, this is a difficult one, and as I'm not a narrative writer, and I'm not a developer, nor a games designer, it means that I can only talk about what I personally would like to see. Maybe these ideas will work for other people, or maybe they won't, but either way, do let me know what you think. So the two different layers of narrative within Elite really are a problem for me. A big one. Firstly, I don't consider unlocking weapons, ships or modules, or even ranking up to be a narrative. And whilst it's certainly gameplay, it's not even close to a story, personal or otherwise, that directs me into Elite's galaxy. Secondly, the events of the galaxy are far too remote for me to consider a narrative in any meaningful way. Although to be fair, stations burning from Thargoid's attack are a fantastic and visible consequence. The passengers I rescue from the stations, complaining to me on the other hand, is neither fantastic nor a believable consequence. 
Factions gaining or losing power within the galaxy may affect missions, name placements or prices, and that is a decent consequence. But it is far too remote, with certainly nowhere near enough visibility. There's no reason for me to care about any of that stuff. The game doesn't care, so why should I? And you know what? It's obvious that the game doesn't care. When a system comes under Thargoid assault, players in nearby systems don't receive a warning. There's no increased military presence in these systems, and there's no refugees fleeing. In fact, the opposite is actually true. Ships within these systems that are under alien assault will happily broadcast wedding messages or tell you they are the best passenger liner out there. When a system is on lockdown, station services might be affected, but nothing changes visibly. The station doesn't really care. Yellow alert lights would be a nice touch and to give some indication that something's actually going on. And when a system is at war, why are there no burning stations? It's little wonder then that so often people say, what narrative, when talking about a lead? No one should be surprised about this though. After all, it's the natural result of an impersonal galaxy that even goes as far as to repeatedly show players that they do not matter in the grand scheme of things. After all, the galaxy is the star of this game, not the players. For me, this is the crux of the matter. Whilst it is reasonable that the Elite doesn't have a player-centric story-based mission system, and to be perfectly honest, I wouldn't want to see one either, it really isn't reasonable for the galaxy to be impersonal. Of course, there's no doubt a ton of technical reasons for this, but that doesn't make it good for the players. From my perspective as a player, it's the smaller changes that could make a world of difference. Show us that the galaxy actually cares about what is going on within its borders by making the galaxy react accordingly. Ensure that the galaxy is consistent, and here's a great example, or a few great examples actually, from a forum thread by longtime player Commander Rootsrat on Elite's internal consistency. So I'll read out about three or four of these. Black Market being listed as official Starport contact right next to the Authority contact. Also, Black Market's being listed as an official facility uh, at a starport on the system map. So yes, this was something that was changed a little while ago because players couldn't find Black Markets. But there should be a way to actually find these without it being listed right next to the, well, effectively the police. You won't expect to find a Black Market next to the police station. Inconsistent telepresence. We can teleport ourselves or telepresent ourselves at 65,000 light years to a French ship at Beagle Point. But a ship launched fighter can't hold the telepresence link over 30 kilometer distance. Yeah, that's another strange one. None persistent unidentified signal sources and NPC ships. There's actually a very good video by Cornelius Bridus where he uh, followed around a few NPC ships and they just go around in loops, not actually involving themselves in any activity. So yes, it's clearly just an illusion. And business as usual, we've mentioned this one, but business as usual why a system is being attacked by an alien race, a nightmare of the past. So there's a link to this forum thread below if you want to check out the full list, and there's a big bunch of stuff on the screen right now, but do have a look at the forum thread, it's a very, very good read. So then, after all this, is there a bottom line? Do I have a basic suggestion or a basic idea or a basic opinion on what really the issue is? Well, yep, for me, it's pretty simple. Narrative, for me, is a galaxy that behaves in a believable and consistent way. A galaxy that offers gameplay loops that show me that from time to time at least, that the galaxy and people within it actually care about my actions. So yes, why I don't normally bullet point, I will do it this time. A little bit more consistency, a little bit more believability, and a little less impersonality. That then brings us to an end of this video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.